Hey everyone, this is Prince B coming at you with some more amiibo related stuff. Uh, this time though, instead of a box opening, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at what I had before I started doing these videos, just as kind of a recap episode. So, uh, and obviously I didn't record these, otherwise they would have been here. We're gonna go ahead and go in order here of uh, what I had before I started doing this, these videos. So first, we had Link. Uh, actually, we got him and Pikachu here at the same time. But, uh, and they were my first ones. I was originally only going to get my uh, favorite characters, and I love Zelda, I love Pokemon, so these were no-brainers. Uh, I actually walked past a bunch of villagers when I picked these guys up. So, uh, oops, I thought that uh, hot characters that everyone knows and loves would sell out faster than more niche characters so uh, yeah my bad anyways uh, I know a lot of people aren't wild about how Link looks I think he's got a good amount of detail especially for being the first ones they went ahead and released uh, you can see like the little pouches he here they have detail those gauntlet or his glove things uh, his tunic uh, I think overall the Link one looks really good uh, I'm not wild about the fact of his pose, uh, he is looking down, uh, let's see if we can get his face in there, uh, his face is okay, I think I got a decent looking one, his face isn't great, and for whatever reason they decided to put his, uh, support bar yellow, I know there are a lot of jokes on the internet about that, but, uh, also his sword is kinda of bent, but, uh, overall, considering that these are $13 toys and not, uh, $50 imported figurines. I'd say overall pretty good. Uh, next up is Pikachu. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, looks good. No real complaints on him. He looks just how you'd expect Pikachu to look. Next up in order we had Toon Link. Uh, same reason as regular Link that I got him. I love Zelda. Uh, in fact, if you've watched, if you've taken a look at my channel, probably like half of it is Zelda content, so uh, dead giveaway right there. Here they learned and they changed his support to uh, clear. I actually mentioned, uh, I think it was in Sonic, the Sonic opening, that uh, Link and Fox were the only ones with the colored supports. I was wrong about that. Uh, I think Zelda has the colored ones. Uh, I think there are a few other ones. I think those are, two are just the most noticeable ones. Anyways, uh, back on topic, Toon Link looks really good, uh, he's becoming somewhat harder to find, uh, you can see the, the texture on his tunic's nice, uh, of course you got the details on the sword and the shield, uh, and his pose is slightly better than Link's, uh, but if you're putting him with the Smash Emblem facing the way it's supposed to in the game, he looks like that, still not great, you still can't see his whole face and everything, but uh, definitely a bit better than Link on in terms of posing. I uh, really like those two, or those guys. Uh, next up was the ones that I got on uh, Wave 4's release date. I actually went in just to pick up Splatoon for my review of that, and I went early to try and get the uh, three pack so that I could talk about the amiibo functionality briefly, uh, what little there is. I still wish there was a little bit more on that. But uh, I didn't even know that that's when Wave 4 was releasing, and uh, I was a NES main before Lucas came out, so I did want to pick him up. Didn't have money to pick up all the guys, and my GameStop didn't even get uh, Robin and Lucina anyways. So, not a huge deal, but we've got NES up next. Uh, I love his figure, and he, this is the original uh, stock NES, not the reprint. Uh, they, I could have gotten another Ness when I picked up DDD, but uh, decided not to. I almost wish I had because then I could have done a Ninten custom, but maybe uh, sometime in the future. Also, uh, I mentioned the Miss Pac-Man custom. I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of that. I don't think it turned out too bad for my first custom. Anyway. Here's Ness. Uh, the eyes look, and everything look good. I saw a lot of like weirdly shaped head ones online. 
but mine looks really good. Uh, he's got decent detail on his backpack and his shoelaces. Overall, I think Ness was really well put together, uh, and I'm really glad to have him. One of my favorites, to be sure. And lastly, for the ones I had before I started these videos, is the Splatoon Trio. I mentioned I went to get the three pack, and I did actually get the last one they had. There were only two, unfortunately. Uh, but I did get that. We'll go ahead and start with the iconic Inkling Girl, who, uh, uh, I think the Splatoon series has really good looking amiibos. Like, there's a good level of detail. You got the ink puddles there, and it actually looks like ink. It does, it's got the gloss finish and everything. Uh, you can see the ink levels in the tank, and fun fact, you can actually open the tank and take them out. I've seen a lot of really cool customs for the Inklings. I really want to get another Inkling boy and make it look like my in-game character. Uh, things to do eventually. For now, we're just focusing, focusing on filling out the collection as a whole, but this is the Inkling girl. You can, and they even went ahead and they did the, her shirt. It's really hard to see with the gun in the way, but there is the uh, details on the shirt and uh, her shoelaces and everything. Overall, really good on the Inkling Girl. I do have one complaint though, and that's right here where they put the two pieces of plastic together. Uh, there's a very large seam and it looks like it could fall apart very easily. Uh, but overall, really good. Uh, especially the tentacles here where it's got the color transition, the gradient, if you will, looks really good. Next is the Inkling Boy, which is actually probably my favorite. I know a lot of people don't like the Inkling Boy, uh, his design. Uh, and I do agree that the girl looks more iconic, but I actually prefer the boy. Uh, I don't know, I just think there's something really cool about him. Uh, He's got his little bracelets up here. Those are really well detailed. Same thing with the ink, the shoelaces. His shirt's modeled too. It's a little easier to see on him, but I can't really get him in a good angle on the camera. Uh, same thing with his ink tank. So overall, uh, not too much to say about him that couldn't be said about the girl, uh, except that I really don't see any kind of noticeable seam that looks like it'd fall apart on him like there was on the girl. So. Uh, I'd even say that he's better quality than her, or at least mine is. Also, there's the little things on the shoe, the traction, like on Sonic, so that's cool. And finally, we have the Squid Amiibo, uh, who's pretty dang hard to find since in the U.S. he's only in that three-pack, and uh, everywhere else he's still kind of hard to find, but... I love how instead of a colored support stand like with Link, uh, or even the clear supports like Toon Link and Wario, you've got the ink acting as his support. This is just so fantastic looking. Uh, again, it's really a shame that the Splatoon Amiibo don't have more support in-game. Uh, what is there is decent, but it could have been a little more fleshed out, a little better, uh, instead of just to tap once, do all the challenges, and be done with it. Uh, but as for the amiibo itself, like I said, looks really good. But like the girl, uh, you can see here the seams where they joined the they joined the plastic together. Uh, I think this might just be on mine, but it's very noticeable here. Uh, always made me a little worried that it was gonna like crack or fall apart. But overall, very good. Very pleased to have him. Uh, so yeah, that's my collection thus far. Uh, and I know it'll come up eventually, so I'll just go ahead and put it here. Uh, I display these in the baseball bat cases uh, from Michael's. Uh, at least that's where I get them. I think the official name is here. I've got another one that I haven't even opened yet. Uh, they are the Studio Decor uh, baseball bat cases. Uh, they work really well for displaying the Amiibo. They all fit nicely in there. I do need to hang up that second one because uh, it's getting cramped in the first one. Uh, but yeah, so that's how I do that. And uh, thank you for watching. Before I go though, I will say uh, stay tuned for some more Amiibo content. 
I do have some more on hand ready to go. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.